A rose by any other name is a rose. I wonder why everyone looks at me. I can see why everyone looks at the beautiful roses that surround me. Oh, those roses smell so nice. I am so lucky that God has allowed me to grow near those beautiful red and delicate petals. And just look at her long stem. It is as though she has so much desire that she wants to reach up and touch the sons of Adam. She even has thorns growing on her stem so that she can protect herself from hungry animals. Oh, I am so lucky to be surrounded by such beautiful red roses. Look, they are on my left. They are on my right. They are in front of me and behind me. Oh, I thank you, my God and my Creator, for placing me in such a place as this. I have only one regret. I wish I knew why it is that everyone counts me as their equal. It wasn't my knowledge that caused me to grow here at this time. I am only the benefactor of events greater than myself. Still, though, I do wonder what it is that I look like. What am I thinking? I know what I will do. I will grow right here where it is that I have been planted. If there is anything that I can do to support or edify these lovely creatures that surround me, I will do that if only so that I can remain standing here. Who knows? Maybe one of the sons of Adam will pick me either by mistake, or maybe because he can see that I am a help to those that surround me. Still, I wonder, sometimes it seems like they look at me with the same admiration that I hold for my fellow. Huh. It must just be my imagination, right? I wonder what I look like. I know what I wish. I wish I was a daughter of Adam. Has there ever been such a thing created ever in all the universe that carries as much beauty and tenderness and usefulness to the sons of Adam as one of these? There are stories that have been retold by those that came before us. One of these stories says that the daughters of Adam hold such a beauty and desirability that even some of the angels of heaven gave up their lofty position just to be with the daughters of Adam. It might be a sin for me to say so, but I really can understand how some of those more foolish angels could have done such a thing. I mean, just look at those girls. Some dance. Some sing. Some have a laugh that sounds like soft water gurgling in a brook. Not only that, but these girls do sweet things for those men. They are even willing to cook and clean for them, even though... A son of Adam can cook and clean for himself. A girl somehow can make a home a pleasant and desirable place for a son of Adam to return to. I have seen some of the sons of Adam give so much trust to a very few of the daughters of Adam that they will be invited to actually live under the roof belonging to a son of Adam some in harems, some as help in the operation of his household. There are others that are allowed to bear his children. Mostly, I think those are the luckiest, because they will forever have the protection of his house and his name, whether they are near or far. If I can't be a daughter of Adam, Maybe I can at least be allowed the great honor of being picked by her hand 
and placed in a vase of her choosing and located in exactly the right place where she wants me to be. Maybe in this way I can help her to make the house she belongs to look and smell just a little sweeter. Just the way she wants it to be. Oh, I am so foolish. What am I thinking? I don't even know what it is that I look like. Oh, I need to do something. I know what I will do. I will help those that surround me to stand out and stand up. In this way, maybe a daughter of Adam will accidentally pick me along with those that surround me. Yes, maybe it is true that I have no idea what it is that I look like. But the creator of heaven and earth placed me here. Right here is where God has placed me. And I am going to make every advantage of my place that I possibly can. I know what I will do. I will amplify their best features. I will turn myself in another direction in order to draw attention to another's best features. These that surround me are so humble in their beauty that they probably wouldn't even think to show a little, shake a little, dance a little. It is okay because I am the one who has helped to point these things out to them. A caress here, a caress there, a kiss on this, a kiss on that, two soft lips, appreciating another's tender and soft parts in a manner that proclaims delicious appreciation with the purpose of pleasing the Son of Man. That is what we will do. Okay, look, here she comes. Now if the wind would just blow a little breeze our way, it will look as though we are dancing for her attention. A rose by any other name is a rose.